Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about one of the biggest predators in the Jurassic Park franchise. An animal that hasn't made its appearance in any of the movies so far, but one that is definitely among the most recognizable when it comes to its iconic look in a certain video game. Terrorizing the same areas of the Cretaceous that Spinosaurus used to inhabit, this guy is no joke. This is the history of the Carcharodontosaurus in the Jurassic Park franchise. <laughs> Carcharodontosaurus made its first appearance in the franchise in the 1999 video game called Warpath Jurassic Park. Here the dinosaur is shown to have a home arena that looks similar to the scene in the first movie where Alan Grant and Timmy are trying to avoid the car that was falling out of a tree. Its gameplay is pretty similar to what you'd find in both the Giga and Albertosaurus in the same game. Around four years later in 2003, the Carcharodontosaurus would return to the world of Jurassic video games by making an appearance in the popular park builder, Operation Genesis. Here the dinosaur was given what is more than likely its most iconic look in the franchise. The car cars in this game have a very dark jet black skin color and on the tops of their heads they also sport a blood red pair of crests above their eyes. This color scheme is noticeably similar to that of the infamous Demon Carnotaurus toy that got released by Kenner in the early 90s, but that might just be a coincidence. While not on the same level of notoriety as either the Spinosaurus or the Tyrannosaur in Operation Genesis, it's still a high-ranking theropod and is classed right alongside another really big meat eater, the Acrocanthosaurus. Unfortunately, this would be one of the last times that we'd get to see the Carcharodontosaurus for a very long time. Because after Operation Genesis came out, there wouldn't really be any more Jurassic Park video games or media of any kind until the early 2010s. A full nine years later in 2012, the car car would make its return to the series with an appearance in Jurassic Park Builder another park simulator game, only this time on mobile. Interestingly, there was actually a battle mechanic in this game that lets you pit dinosaurs against one another when you weren't running the theme park. So, in some coincidental way, this appearance was kind of the merging of both of the car car's previous appearances. The dinosaur would appear in a hybrid of sorts for both Warpath and Operation Genesis albeit in a much more simplistic experience. Finally, the Carcharodontosaurus would make its most recent appearance in the most recent video game that we've received, Jurassic World Evolution. Here the dinosaur was given a pretty big redesign, and it doesn't look much like its Operation Genesis counterpart at all. Nowadays, the base Carcharodontosaurus is shown sporting a tan body with an assortment of brown stripes. Its back is also adorned with a lot of raised spikes this time as well. This really completely changes the way I thought these animals could look in the context of the Jurassic franchise, and it's kind of hard for me to really pick between which design I like more. The one from the original Park Simulator release, or the newer one. Anyways, that is the complete history of this dinosaur in the Jurassic Park franchise. So far, it's only been a part of some of the video games that have come out to support the movies, and it hasn't yet been featured in really anything else at this very moment. There's always the possibility that it could appear in a future movie or side story that gets released for Jurassic World, but given its kind of small number of appearances so far, I would kind of doubt that we would be seeing it anytime soon. With that being said, what do all of you guys think? What is your favorite appearance of the car car in the series so far? I'm pretty sure most of you will say Operation Genesis, but hey, I still gotta ask. Now, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now, before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens like Jonathan Lawton and Gregor Mundell, as well as all of my engine executives like John Odea. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Zorky Moo 67 Philip JT, Amanda F. Sweat, Janny, Toby Walker, James Thompson, Michael Tribble, Sean Gilmartin, and Adam Robertson. It really means the world to me that all of you guys enjoy what I do so much, and I'm extremely thankful to have all of your really incredible support. Now, I'd like to thank every one of you for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.